Um, this video it's about the generating an ASN. So as you can remember on the previous videos we generated a 997. Uh, we parsed the A50 uh, from a dummy PO. So now we're going to actually generate the advanced ship notice. That's what it's called. So as you can see now I have a few lines here from line 214 to 220. So I have a class here that is going to call ASN generate and this is just to give it a unique name. Every time I run this method it's going to create an ASN. So the class is right here. It's going to be on GitHub on the same project as prior to this videos about EDI. I'm still using the same tool uh, this tool on GitHub is public EDI engine and there's an example here write EDI envelope 2018 it's kind of old but it still works so if you scroll down uh, if you copy this whole thing it will work I think let me see it's generating that EDI yes you don't need a source file or a text file for this and it basically is gonna generate this EDI. In my case, uh, I, I don't need to generate a 940. Uh, I would like to work with a 956. I'm sorry, A56. So here's line 17. That's the map. Um, it's M underscore A56. And this is the engine, I believe. Yes, the engine runtime. So you pass it. And as the example shows, you can generate or you can add your segments to the output. As you can see here, we're just from the maps, we are getting the BSN uh, element here. Once you get it into this variable, then you can add it to your EDI segment. It's like a bucket. And then basically, According to the example is you generate this, you can do it this way. There's a couple ways you can do it. This, this is one at range, and then you can pass in here the, the values. And then you add it to that content, to the, your EDI transaction here. The other way of doing this is, uh, for example, here, let me close this one now. There's a lot of code in here, but to keep it simple, if you want to add the DTM, which is the date, um, you do the same thing. You call from the maps and get the DTM uh, map segment. That's the conversion here. And then you add it to your segment. And then here you can add the range. Okay, this is the same way of doing that. Okay, I'm going to show you the other way. That's the same. Here it goes. It's the same idea. Basically, here we're reusing the DTM, basically, because it's the same type of segment. Let me find something that is not the same thing. Okay, here we go. Here, the DT1, TD1. Uh, here, you get it, basically, from... Now, it's... Let me see. Let me go up here. It's getting complicated here, but it's a lot of code. Let me start over here. Once you go down into the HL segment, it gets more complicated because it's not a map segment anymore. It's a map loop because this whole thing can loop many times. So the way to follow this is to make sure you have the, the guidelines. And I'm still using this reference uh, online. It's pretty good uh, for the A56. I think, yeah, this is A56. And if you want to go into the BSN, that's how you know, well, this is how you know what to put in your ASN. So for example, on 01, that was 00, which is the original. If I go back just to clear up that, it's right here, 00. That position meaning is the original ASN. Okay, so th that's how I use that reference. And then down here, I think this H loop is it was kind of uh, 
hard to find out how to use this. But anyways, you basically man, get a man loop out of that L underscore HL. That's like the main one you're gonna get. And from this variable, then you're gonna start doing the same thing I did at the top on this one, same idea. You get the HL that you're looking for from this variable and then you populate it basically. You add this uh, segment basically values into it. You add your segment and then you start adding those individually. And then to the to the and to the envelope basically. This is adding to the envelope. This segment with this data. And the same thing goes to the bottom. If you're under this loop if you're still working under this loop, make sure you're still using that variable to pull that DT1. And it will keep going. I mean, there's a lot of lines here. There's another one. This one is also a loop, the N1. And from that one, from the N1, as you can see, I'm doing the same idea. From that one, we're calling the N1. And we're passing the... For example, this one is the ship from SF and then the company name, that's a code and another code. And you keep going down the row here, the N3, that's some address, the city, state, zip code, US, the N4. And then if you're required, then you submit the ship to, just make up some data here ship to the whole address and then you keep going and I mean there's a lot of stuff in here you could get confused here some um, warehouse might require a pallet segment so this is where the man segment comes in and then you pass your pallet here some don't so you don't have to write that to the A56. So there's a lot of EDI stuff going on here. And it will take a couple hours to go through each individual line. Here's your case. If you're submitting cases like uh, UCC128 labels, you can put it in here. And the lines, I believe this might be the line. No, this is where the star lines starts the line and here are the details. And how do I know all this in oh, what to put in here? Well, if you go back to this reference, you'll find everything that you need. And whoever sent you requirements, they should have a guide to tell you what they're expecting on the file. So let me see, I'm gonna stop right here because the video is getting too long, but I'm gonna run this code and you'll see the file that just finished. You can see here, here's the A56 that it just generated at 11.31 a.m. And here's the ASN. I think it looks kind of small on the screen, but this is all dummy data. But it did generate the A56 with all the data that I populated with, all the dummy data here. There's weight, carrier, uh, here's the ship from, ship to, here's the man for the pallet, for the box, and here's the line that you're shipping, here's the quantity you're shipping, and everything that you need here. So hopefully this code will help somebody get started on how to generate an A56 for EDI uh, using this tool here. I found it very helpful uh, to parse and generate a ASN's A56. Uh, just make sure that this tool, I think only does the version for EDI call, let me see, I think it's release 4010. I think on, that's the only one that it supports. I haven't tried any other versions, but I see the 4010 here. 4010 right here. I'm not sure if it does another different versions. 
because if you go up here on this um, site for reference, uh, you can see here there's 4010, 4020, I mean, there's a bunch. So anyways, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments of this video. Thank you for watching.